Hello YouTube audience. Today I would like to show you um, some seeds I picked up last fall and planted. Um, a lot of them has germinated, so this would be the first look um, of these plants. Um, so this is a big seed trade uh, in which I probably planted maybe a hundred seeds in it. There. Uh, different plants I picked up on the road or picked up um, on the trees. So here are some Japanese maples um, and here are some oak trees. Um, I planted 10 seeds, all 10 of them germinated. Um, here are different kinds of oak. These uh, germinated later in the spring and currently they have uh, smaller leaves but in the future these leaves may grow up. Um, this is a burning bush which has um, very beautiful fall color. Um, it's called burning bush which has a reason. The, the leaves just like burning uh, but they are not um, not exactly red it's almost um, almost has a kind of red um, pink color to it so when when it in fall it's very beautiful and these are two uh, trees that I don't know the name of but in the fall the leaves would turn golden yellow and these are also some bushes that i don't know the name of but uh, in the fall they would turn red the leaves so a colorful trade of trees a lot of seeds hasn't germinated yet i don't know whether they would ever germinate it so um uh, germinate so um, we will wait and see um, so something I noticed that's very interesting to me that I did not know before is that the maple you can see this is the first year they germinate is from these leaves these tiny leaves these first you can see these first pair of leaves um, they are actually not in the shape of a typical maple leaf um, so they actually come from inside the seed so within the seed they already have these leaves so they are called the seed leaf um, and uh, there's a more professional name which I believe it's uh, uh, cotyledon, cotyledon. Um, and um, so the first pair of leaves they come from the seed which store some energy so when they first come out the plant grow with the energy that's stored in these uh, cotyledons um, and uh, as they open they start to generate energy and they start to after that they start to grow the the normal leaves the normal maple leaves uh, in the shape that's uh, more typical to the plants after a while they are going to sh shed these uh, cotyledons um, and from then on it would be all uh, these leaves um, so but in comparison uh, these oaks their first pair of leaves is already in the shape of an oak uh, tree um, so that's very interesting so i checked what's happening what's the difference between these two type of trees it turned out that the oaks 
um, they also have cotyledons, but um, they stay within the seeds. So you can see, if you take a look here inside, it's green. So within the seeds, they never um, come out above the ground. So the um, so if you look at the maple, um, it's uh, the 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 sea leaf come out above the ground. Um, it is called apigeus, apigeus plant, and uh, oaks is actually called hypogeus, which the seed leaf remained underground within the seed. Um, so that's something I didn't know, and I checked. Um, now I know. So um, you can also distinguish plants from how many uh, cotyledons they have. If they have two cotyledons, like the maple, uh, they are called dicots. Um, and um, if they have one, they would be called uh, monocot. Um, so there are plants that, there are trees that has more than two uh, cotyledons. They would be called multicots. Um, so just like these, uh, these cedar plants I show a little, little bit earlier, they actually have maybe eight to around 10 cotyledons, so they are multi-cots. Um, so that's a bit interesting information. And so you can see that I planted these seeds very densely. Um, so this area here, uh, these oaks with gigantic leaves, I planted tens there and all 10 of them germinated. Um, and uh, these, I planted more than 10. So uh, before long, this tree, it's going to shield each other. And um, maybe it's not the best for them to stay that closely together. The same is with the maples. I planted them very close. Uh, without knowing what are the percentage of seeds that are going to germinate, uh, turned out they has an extremely high germination rate. What I did was I collect them in the fall and uh, planted them last fall and put the whole seed tray uh, outside uh, so that if they are plants that need um, a cold period to stratify before um, they germinate, they can have time to stratify. Like the maple, I think they would need this cold period, but I heard that the oaks doesn't need time to stratify, but they, they did it anyway, and the germination rate is extremely high, almost 100% for the oaks. Um, so a lot of the seeds, I planted 10 of them, but their germination rate are not as high. Like this burning bush, I probably have 10 seeds. I only see one that come out. Um, so, but I'm extremely happy to see them, uh, growing out. Um, hopefully, uh, probably pretty soon I'm going to take some of them out of the seed trade and transplant them into a pot that or, or other containers that has a larger space for them to grow. Um, just like these cedars, you may remember um, from maybe last video on these cedars, they were in a single uh, plastic container, but I've 
transplant them in these bonsai soil because uh, some of them start to these seed these um these soil for germinating seeds they are extremely good at maintaining water so some of the cedar seedlings start to die of root rot so i transplant plant them out to these uh these substrates that's probably not going to have the um the uh, the root rot problem um so hopefully uh, over the years i can gradually grow some of these uh, into bonsai um, of course if you grow a bonsai from seed it's going to take a long time but um, my purpose is to kind of learn how to grow these trees and uh, uh, over time i may lose a lot of them because um, um, the learning process and uh, doing different experiments um, some of them may not survive um, but which um, which is fine uh, it is a learning journey and um, I hope to document the journey over time and uh, see uh, what happened and how they developed um, I think um, this is a good time to show these um, little plants that's full of life um, because currently um, the COVID-19 pandemic has um, basically coated the whole world uh, with a depressive mood and hopefully these little plants can cheer some of us up and um, and hopefully we will see them grow up over the years okay thank you for watching i will see you next time bye